Hi, welcome to Coach Kathy's Clips. Well, this is the week of the Republican Convention, and next week is the Democratic Convention. So I thought this would be a wonderful time to talk about how you and your mate speak to each other around political views. And you can also throw in family, friends, neighbors, that would also be appropriate. So if your partner has a completely different view or party than you do, it's really important between now and leading up to the election that you be careful with your language with each other. You want to avoid inflammatory language, particularly adjectives that you use. And when speaking about your views, you want to be neutral. You want to stay away from condescension, patronizing tone. That's not going to help your relationship. So when you're talking, say something like if, if your partner says something completely different than you believe or think, you'll say, well, that's an interesting viewpoint. I respect it. I don't agree. So I'm thinking this would be a good time to agree to disagree. So that phrase, let's agree to disagree, is really the phrase that you're going to want to keep in your back pocket this week next week and for weeks to come because it's okay to disagree. In fact, you want to be with somebody who thinks the way you do 100% of the time? <clears throat> Excuse me. I hope not. So again, avoid inflammatory language. Stay neutral with your tone and avoid condescension and being patronizing or superior. And be able to recognize your partner's opinion and without having to agree with it by using the phrase, Let's agree to disagree. 